What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Community Voice. Get ready to ignite your taste buds and nourish your body as we dive into this episode. We have the incredible Tiana Vidantonio gracing our screens today, the passionate mastermind be behind Sage Karma Kitchen. From their scratch kitchen, Tiana is committed to serving clean eating and healthy options. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, so I have just a few questions for you today. Um, okay. Have you always been in the restaurant industry? I've actually started when I was 14. Wow. It was my first job ever. I've worked all positions, front of the house, back of the house, um, management, everything you can imagine, event planning. Um, I loved that it was different every day, so I fell in love with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you and your husband come up with the name Sage Karma Kitchen? So I was always the person burning sage. Um, <laughs> Same. So I'm always trying to clear the energy of the room. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought if I named the restaurant that, it wouldn't be so weird if I did it anytime. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then also the 12 laws of karma really resonate with me. Um, our first dog's name was Karma. So it, it kind yeah. of just all came together. Um, can you touch a little bit on the 12 la laws of karma? Um, you know like philosophy wise where are those coming from where are those deriving from well we have a big um yeah i'll have to take a picture yeah of we that. have a, a big art piece which i actually made um so you and it did? yeah so i painted behind it and then um our graphic girl puts that behind so that we wow. can still wash the glass um so that was kind of my vision for the restaurant i kind of had a dream about this being like a focal point yeah and being a wall um so we call this the karma room so um so you know cause and effect giving and hospitality i mean there's you know there's 12 laws that i think are great for everyone in their everyday life but they they really ring true for me i love that and i will have to share that with everyone yeah. thank you um Tiana, do you have any food allergies or dietary preference specific to you? I'm vegan and gluten-free. Okay. Um, so I have to do that for my health. I have um, allergies. Mm -hmm. um, and my husband is a meat eater. So we couldn't find a place that both of us would be happy with our meal. Yeah. So that's kind of how this whole idea came about. Absolutely. So, so that kind of ties into my next question. Um, can you just touch on the ways your food and drink menu speak to many? So we cater to all dietary needs. So for me, like I'm the person that has to pick the restaurant anytime I'm going out with someone because I can't have things because they make me sick. Yeah. Um, so I was always the one to pick um, where we were going. And, you know, this place, whether you're with someone that's vegan, vegetarian, celiac, gluten free or a meat eater, there's something for everyone. So that's definitely I, I find it to be difficult because when I would go somewhere, mm -hmm. I could have one item. So, yeah. and most of the time it was a salad and I couldn't have dressing because it was cross contaminated. And, yeah. you know, for me, you know, healthy ingredients and a healthy, clean lifestyle is really important. So that's kind of how we came up to like appeal to the masses that yes, all the things might start vegan or gluten free, but you can add a grass fed steak or mm -hmm. organic chicken, or, you know, we have grass fed burgers as well as black bean and chickpea and all of that. So wonderful that, you know, although your husband is a meat eater, he was jumping on board yeah. too. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so you have another restaurant, is that correct? Yes. So how do you find time to manage both businesses and a personal life if you have one? Yeah, so I would say this has probably like made me really think this question the most. Um, so I manage here full time. He manages our other location full time. Um, you know, I have jobs that I do there. I also make the cupcakes there. So, I mean, I definitely am still involved, but just not in the day to day operation. So yeah. we designate the fact that I'm here and he's there. Um, so we try to be able to have some type of, you know, we try to have a day off together, which is, you know, typically on Tuesday. So that kind of is our thing. But, you know, our job doesn't really stop. Yeah. You know, it's like you're whether you're getting text messages or purveyors or, you know, customers looking for reservations. And we just like, I love it. So mm -hmm. like, it doesn't feel like work, even though mm -hmm. it's a lot. And, you know, people are like, well, you don't get to do this or do that. And I'm like, 
like I enjoy being here. Yeah. So it's just different. And at the um, end of the day, you do create your own schedule. And yeah, yeah. So like you know, but the you know, when you own a restaurant, if someone calls off, you're the person that fills in, yep. which is fine. You know, we like to give back to the community. We like to get involved with stuff like that too. So that just is kind of part of our personal life. You know, doing yeah. outings or you know, doing the strawberry festival or doing things like that. You know, those are things that are still work, but they're fun too. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Um, I know um, Mystic Yoga Tribe and Mystic Manor, I mm -hmm. have come to you for your sweet potato yeah. chips yes. before. Yes. They are phenomenal if you guys haven't Thank tried you. them. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, we make those in-house. Mm. So. so do you have any um, daily, weekly specials? Are they changing? You know, We do a happy hour okay. um, from 3 to 7. Um, we change the menu quarterly. Um, so between... I guess I should say twice a year we change the menu and that's just based upon what is readily available. Yeah. And for us, our biggest thing is what is easiest to get that stays organic because we try to do as much organic produce that we can. Absolutely. So that's kind of the basis for our menu. Um, you know, and our drinks, like our wines and, you know, all the simple syrups are made in house. So they're not made with traditional sugar. They're made with organic cane sugar and fresh fruit. And we make that all here. We make the sage tea. You know, we have organic biodynamic vegan gluten-free wine, you oh, know, wow. so it kind of, you know, we have gluten-free beer. I mean, we try to cater to everyone. Yeah. So in terms of people just keeping up to date, do you find, you know, your social media posts going to Facebook or maybe Instagram? We have an Instagram presence. Yeah. Okay. So we don't, we actually don't have a Facebook, but we do a lot on Instagram. Wonderful. Yeah. We like to, you know, present like what's going on in downtown Willoughby and what we're a part of and which events we're taking place in, some specials or, you know, we do, you know, we'll put pictures of the dishes or drinks up. Yeah. Well, I plan to link your Instagram and your website um, awesome. in the description. Thank and you. thank you, everybody, for thank watching. You. Thank yes. you, Tiana, for being here. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Yes. Um, and as always, I am your local real estate professional. Feel free to reach out. My information will be in the description as well. See ya. Bye.